my name is Airsoft Fatty, the one, the only, the Star Wars kid himself, and recently infected with the opium virus. Now, I just gotta ask, who here is opium? I can't hear you! I said, who here is opium? Now, nah, ladies and gentlemen, I still can't hear you, but I still gotta ask, are we feeling lucky tonight, Las Vegas? Okay, 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 okay now. Calm down, calm down. Quiet down. Not so loud now. You see, last time we did something like this was for Rolling Loud. And they ended up shutting the show down. And I mean it, they brought the SWAT in with the helicopters. And they had the guys jumping out of the helicopters doing backflips and shit. But hey, being honest for a second here, I haven't seen a crowd this huge since I did an opening for a sold-out show my buddy Shane Gillis put on. By the way, any of you guys out here tonight to fuck with Shane Gillis? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. My buddy's out there going across the U.S. selling out shows left and right. Well, look, ladies and gentlemen, I am here to tell you some jokes, just like my buddy. And I'm here to help get you hyped up. Because tonight, we have some amazing performances set up for you. And I do mean that from the bottom of my heart. We have some real legends already at the roof tonight. And the best part is, you know, legends never die. But heroes do. And uh, I never wanted to be a hero growing up. And I certainly never wanted to be a villain. And you know, heroes are always destined to fall into the darkness and villains are always going to be destined to die pointless and needless deaths. And tonight I look into this crowd, this beautiful, massive crowd. And I see a lot of heroes tonight that aren't getting laid tonight. And, you know, you can trust me, I say that as someone who isn't getting laid tonight. I'm serious, my sex life is as dry as the Sahara Desert. You know, but, uh, you know, and I know, you know, some of you are going to say, you're famous, you're talented, you're smart. And that's true. And that got me pretty far in life. But the thing is, clout and fame really don't carry as much value as they used to. And that's thanks to a pretty little word we're all affected by called inflation. But, uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys, okay, Comics Con? I really am famous. I'm famous for a few things, okay? I'm famous for meat salads. And for those of you wondering what a meat salad is, a meat salad is simply a mixture of ramen noodle, cheese, beef steak, chicken, pork chops, provolone, salami, pastrami, bugatti, bologna, and, well, if you want to fancy up, a little beef jerky. And, you know, some of you guys might know me from my famous YouTube video where I fell over a trash can during a lightsaber duel. And then some of you out there might know me more from the recent Nathan's hot dog eating contest this past 4th of July where I threw up all over the crowd. And I mean shit. It's impossible to have missed it. It was all over the sports center. I mean it when I threw up I hit the ESPN camera, and I'm pretty sure I got the camera guy, too. But, you know, like I said, you know, you ain't got to really worry about tonight, ladies and gentlemen. You really don't. You see, I'm running on an empty stomach. Earlier backstage, I ate an entire table of some Cactus Jack meals, and I just got to say, you know, shout out to McDonald's, and shout out to, you know, Travis Scott, you know, great combo, good meal. You know, but uh, I end up eating all these meals, and, uh, Lord and behold, when you eat a bunch of food, you get sick, and, well, I got sick all over Travis Scott's trailer. And, uh, you know, I just want to say to Travis, I, I am very sorry about that. I do apologize. And, you know, to your janitor, you know, where's he at over here? Yo, bro, I'm sorry about that, man, but you're going to have to clean that up. And, you know, 
There's another apology I need to make. Technically, technically 14 apologies, but there's another apology I need to make. And that's to the 14 crew members backstage. Because those Cactus Jack meals that I ate were supposed to be their dinner and not my pre-show snack. That being said, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm getting kicked out for that one right there, okay? So do me a favor tonight, Las Vegas. Do me a beautiful favor. And let's go crazy tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And you know... I told them not to give me Casamigos because I do puke a lot. It's kind of my thing. I got the gab reflex of a god. A god who um pukes a lot, but uh, you know, sometimes I do think to myself, you know, my gag reflex, you know, might be a curse from Satan. But, you know, I promised my boy Filthy, you know, I wouldn't puke. You know, where's he at? You know, Filthy, my dude. You really don't got to worry about it. I ain't going to puke tonight. You know, I promised you. I'm just fucking with you, Complex Con. I told you guys I wouldn't puke tonight, okay? And I promised my boy I wouldn't puke tonight. So I'm not going to. But, you know, I do got to say, you know, Las Vegas is a very beautiful place. It's wild. It's amazing. I love all the casinos and, of course, all the gentlemen you got on the street corners handing out those baseball cards. But I just, you know, I got to ask, you know, and, and be far, far be it for me to complain, but what's with all these baseball teams featuring half-naked chicks? And, and, you know, I'm far be it for me to complain, right? But where I'm from, you know, we don't have baseball teams like that. I mean, to be quite honest with you, it's hard to find a woman in Michigan that has a full set of teeth. And that's the truth. You know, you can't really cook with the water. You can't drink it. You can't bathe with it because you end up coming out looking like me. And, uh, <clears throat> it's a very serious issue we have to deal with. And, uh, you know, Michigan could use a hand with that. But, uh, you know, look it up. You know, any, any deformed... Famous person, whether the single or not, any social influencer who's deformed, they all come from one place. And I say this with all the love in the world, especially he's one of the best ones around because, you know, long neck, wide neck. Hell, at one point I was called No Neck. That's not a joke either. I actually went by No Neck. And, uh, you know, my fans used to pay me to do neck reveals. I mean, Let's be honest, right? That Flint water might make us go a little crazy, but it helps us make some amazing music. Think about it. Eminem? My boy Rio, is my boy free? Is my boy Rio free yet? No! That's kind of upsetting. Free my boy Rio already! Hell, free the whole goddamn ghetto! But look, ladies and gentlemen, that's just some Michigan lore for all you Las Vegas locals here. However, there is something that I want to do tonight. And I'm going to ask that everyone here helps me out. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, can we please open up the mosh pit? You heard me! Open up the mosh pit! That's right! Get it going! Come on! Stand up! It's time to mosh! That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about to be the first comedian to stand up to a mosh pit. So get up! Get it started! Get moshing! Open that pit up! Open it like you're a 9 a.m. employee with the keys and it's 11.30 a.m. Let's rage, ladies and gentlemen! We got Playboy Cardi! We got Wake Up Filthy, we got Metro Boomin, and we got Cactus Jack, and we got every major brand under the sun here to top it all off. So, let's wake up Las Vegas, and one last time, are we feeling lucky?